I have an impromptu video today because my library just opened up for browsing yesterday and I went for the first time since March today. One of my favorite things to do is to browse at the library and find things I otherwise wouldn't see and I really miss doing it especially because I don't really buy a lot of books and almost everything I read comes from the library because I don't like to spend money. But I was really excited and I have no one to tell about it so I'm here to do a book haul when otherwise I probably won't do this very often on my channel. Again, don't like to spend money but I want to show off the things that I got from the library. So first I got this, The Lost World by Arthur Conan Doyle and as far as I know this is like the OG um, treasure hunters slash adventurers find dinosaurs that didn't become extinct so you could kind of say it somewhat inspired Jurassic Park but it's not the same thing they didn't bring them back to life they kind of are exploring I'm not sure where I don't remember but they find kind of like a lost continent where dinosaurs have somehow survived and no one knew they were there so I'm really excited to read this one I love adventure books and I realized I was kind of going through what I've read recently and I haven't read that much lately even though I claim they're my favorite so I can't wait to read that one. Next I got um, Lady Susan by Jane Austen. I had never heard of this and it's actually I think just like a short story or novella but I read Pride and Prejudice this year and I really loved it so I thought why not pick this up. I wanted something just short that I could read quickly. Next for a bit of nonfiction, I got How to Eat All Your Food and Diet Questions Answered and over the last year, maybe two years, I've gotten a lot more into my health and fitness. Um, growing up, I didn't know anything about health and fitness and consequently, most of my life have been overweight, but I've been getting a lot better about knowing how to eat the right things and exercise the right way. And I'm gonna say right way in my opinion, but um, I've been reading a lot of books like this. They kind of all say the same information, but I like to read them, so. I've also been wanting to get into reading more history books because another problem I have is I feel like growing up, history didn't really stick in my brain a lot, so I forgot most things I learned about it, and it hasn't really been relevant to know about things like that in my life, but I want to get more into world history and things. Um, my library really doesn't have a good section of history books, so this is just what I found. This is The Invention of Yesterday, so I think what it does is tells you a super broad um, history of mankind, humankind. It should be interesting. I don't know what to expect, so we'll see about this one. Next are a couple books that I picked out specifically to read in October because I want to kind of get into that spooky spirit. So I got some horror books. Um, first is Kill Creek. This has just been on my TBR. I can't honestly tell you what the premise is, but I put it on there for a reason, I'm sure. So this hopefully will be entertaining. I don't really find books or movies for that matter scary. Like they don't scare me, but I enjoy reading scary books scary books and watching horror movies so I should enjoy it hopefully. The next horror book that I picked out was Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I've heard a lot about this artist lately. I've heard a lot about this author lately and I saw a video recently by Books with Emily Fox and she kind of rated all of his books and I believe she said that this was the favorite one that she read. And it's about a girl who inherits a house from her father, I think, and it's haunted. And my last book, this is actually a book for school, but I might as well show it. I picked up The Little Yellow Leaf. I think this is just a cute picture book about fall leaves falling. I love to make tons of fall art projects because it's my favorite season, so it's always nice to find something cute I can read to the kids. Okay, so that is my whole library book haul. Um, <laughs> my next video is probably going to be my September wrap up since it's getting towards the end of the month. I didn't read as much this month. I think it's just because work has kept me super busy that I have limited free time and I also like to play video games and I like to watch um, 90 Day Fiance so that kind of eats up a lot of my time too but that'll be my next video. Let me know if your libraries are open or if you use them at all. I feel like a lot of people on booktube just buy a ton of books, but personally I like to read it before I buy because you never know if the book's going to be bad. 
The only exception is I buy my Anne Rice books and I think that's just out of stubbornness at this point. <laughs> but let me know if you like your library. Is it open? Um, when I went to mine, you did have to wear a mask, but other than that, you kind of had free reign. The only thing they didn't let you touch was the reserve books, so you have to kind of ask them for what you reserve. But other than that, it's pretty much back to normal, and there, weren't, there wasn't very many people there either. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye.